Hey guys, this is Charles with Jaeger Film. In this tutorial, I wanna look at using the Content Aware Fill to remove some objects on 360 footage. I've got two different 360 scenes here, and I'll take a look at each of these. So this first scene is just me walking, holding uh, a 360 camera here. You can see it on a selfie stick. I wanna see if I can remove myself below the video there. And then on the second clip, what I've got is just me walking past the 360 camera, as you can see here. And we'll see if we can use the Content Aware Fill to remove me walking through this scene. So first, let's go ahead and open up the VR Comp Editor and the Content Aware Fill. So just come here to Window, and I'll select VR Comp Editor. I've already got that docked there. And then Window, Content Aware Fill. So let's first look at this walking scene. And what I wanna do here is I wanna go ahead and create a 2D edit. So I'll just select Add a 2D Edit. And I wanna select that Walking Composition, and go ahead and select Add 2D Edit. So now we can see we're looking at the 360 footage kind of in a first person view. And I'm just gonna navigate with the camera tool to look down here on the area that I wanna remove, try to center that up. So basically me and my shadow here. So I'm just gonna select the pen tool and I'm gonna click on the footage. And at the first frame here, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a mask around all of this area. And I'll hit M on the keyboard to bring up the mask settings. I'm gonna set this to none. And I just wanna make sure this covers up me walking throughout the shot. So I'm just gonna scroll through here and make sure that it looks like it's over everything. Pretty close. Maybe we need to move this over just a little bit there. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that mask now to subtract. Now, if we look over here to the content aware fill, we can see that area is showing up. Now, I actually like to add a little bit of feathering around this as well. So I'm just gonna come down here to the mask, hit MM bring up the mask properties. I'm gonna add a subtle feather onto this. Again, scrolling through to make sure I don't show up anywhere around the edges, so it looks pretty good. All right, now that we've got that set up, I'm gonna go ahead and generate a fill layer to fill in that gap. And we'll go ahead and speed this up to when this finishes and we'll take a look at the results. All right, so now that that's completed, let's go ahead and RAM preview this and see what this looks like. And you can see the results are pretty respectable. They're definitely not perfect. But for the amount of time we spent on this, these results are pretty nice. Now, one thing I did notice that I want to demonstrate for you here is that you might want to edit your footage to have an extra second at the beginning and the end whenever you use Content Aware Fill because you're going to see at the very beginning here, we get kind of this weird artifact. And that's because it's kind of sampling the footage. It doesn't have enough information to kind of create that perfect. And you can see right about here is when it really kind of kicks into gear and looks pretty good. Now, we have a little bit of darkening here along these edges, and that's not really at fault of the content aware fill, that's more just vignetting from the stitching. But then when I scroll through here, when we get to the very end, you're gonna see we kinda get another one of those artifacts. And that's again because it's sampling the footage, it doesn't have enough information at the beginning and the end. So if you add kind of a second at the beginning and a second at the end more than you need, you can just kinda take out this centermost sections of your footage and kind of avoid the beginning and end areas, that way you don't have those artifacts that show up. But you can see this looks pretty good and it definitely is more immersive than having like a big logo covering up the bottom of your 360 video. All right, so I'm gonna adjust the spacing here, the VR Comp Editor. And if you wanna go ahead and open this back up in an echo rectangular view, all you need to do is open up the output render. All right, so now we can see a preview of the output and you can see I have been removed from the bottom of the video. And this is the composition that you want to go ahead and render out uh, when you finish up with your removal. All right, so now let's go ahead and look at this second shot here and see if we can remove myself from walking past the camera here. And on this example, we're dealing with a lockdown shot. Now, originally what I did was the same thing we did on the previous shot, was that I went ahead and created an edit in the VR Comp Editor, and then went in there and masked that out and kind of keyframed the camera following me as I walked past the camera. However, after looking at the results I got, I realized that we can actually do probably a better job just by masking this here and actually the echo rectangular view, because again, this camera is locked down and After Effects will be able to look at this entire 360 view, and it should be able to sample the pixels correctly. And so if we come down here and look at the footage, I'm gonna hit M on the keyboard for the mask, and you can see I created a very broad mask around myself and just did a few keyframes throughout this so you can see how kind of broad that mask is. Again, just trying to make sure I remove myself and the shadow. So nothing too intensive with rotoscoping here at all. And I'm gonna go ahead and set that mask now to be subtract. And now we can see on content aware fill, it sees that area we've removed. And I'm just gonna use the object fill method here. And I'm gonna go ahead and select generate fill layer and let's go ahead and take a look at the results. All right, so I went ahead and skipped ahead to when it completed generating the fill layer. And as we can see, nothing much is going on in the scene and that's actually exactly what we want. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and click down here and we can see the mask now where it's actually done the removal. And you can see it worked quite effectively on this shot. Again, even on the ec rectangular footage directly because it is a lockdown shot. Go ahead and solo the fill here so we can just take a look at what's happening. You can see where it's actually replacing everything at. Again, not a lot of movement with the trees and everything in the background here probably helped quite a bit. But I do think if you're dealing with a lockdown shot, your best solution uh, for content aware fill is to just go ahead and work directly on the ecco rectangular view. Now if this camera was moving, walking down the street, and I'm trying to remove somebody else walking through, I would recommend using the VR Comp Editor to create a 2D edit and do the removal just like we did the walking uh, shot before. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial, taking a look at the content aware fill with the VR Comp Editor built into After Effects. This has been Charles Jaeger with Jaeger Film. Thanks for watching.